Hey everybody, Tommy G here back. We're going to pick things up where we left off on Insurmountable, see if we can continue climbing this mountain. And if your health hits zero, your character collapses and your journey comes to an end. So there is, you know, that, that possibility that you blow it and not finish. Now, I don't know how often I'm going to want to try this to do that, but uh, where we left our heroine off, we left our heroine right here, <laughs> uh, right here, we are above the death zone. Starts at 6,000 6, meters, 18,000 feet. Um, I, I'm having a hard time seeing the mountain for the mountain. Um, looks like we can go up a side here. We can go straight for it, or we can go up that side over there. Up the ice glacier. For some reason, uh, there's the peak. It look like we're better off this way or better off that way. I'm thinking I'm thinking this way, right? Across the glossier they call it in Britain. They're weird like that. Uh and then hit that left side, although is the right... Ay, with the, the mountain gets in my way and I can't see. Just this stupid rock right there. I don't know, folks. I don't know. I may have to coin flip. We may end up going right and then panning across. I don't know if there's a back route or not, but when I look right here, it looks like the right's fairly easy. It looks like going across the glacier is going to be more difficult, but then does it like... Does it lull you and say, oh yeah, obviously go this way. Ha! Gotcha, because up here it's all crap. It doesn't want us to go here. Maybe it wants us to go here and then kind of come around this way and go over. Well, from where we're at, there's a cave, there's some other stuff, so let's hit... We don't have all the time in the world, do we? No more other caves up that way. I kind of like the caves they've been working let's go shoot I'm just, this is so difficult I go across up let's see if I went here that's the way we go we have to go down and over we go uh, here, right here go right up we go here or here those are all pretty straightforward now if I went somewhere like all the way out here a lot of treacherous stuff to cross. There. Oh, let, me, let me pan back around this way then. So if I were to go like here. Let's, I think I'm going to go this way. I think we'll check the cave out first. What time is it? The afternoon. Level up. Increased oxygen. Yes, I got to do oxygen gain per hour. Because I'm up. Uh, well, the body temperature. Yeah, but I've got... Where am I for oxygen? Is O2? I got stuff to warm me up, so I'll be, I think, controlled breathing. Yes. I got two stay worms and a controlled breathing. Okay, so we're going to do that. And up we go. Climbing now at an altitude of 6,400 meters. <clears throat> Which, again, I'm roughly, I'm roughly keep. Treating it like yards. I know it's not quite the same, but times three, about 18,000 feet. You enter a cave. It's dry and sheltered from the wind. However, you notice a strong smell. Gotta follow the smell, right? You follow the smell, but are unable to find anything except some tufts, fur, and bones. I'm going, going to lay down and sleep. Uh, it's going to be clear. Normal tomorrow storm. No, I want to leave the cave. I want to keep pressing on. This is a storm around, so I'm going to want to camp. You know what I'm saying? I think you know what I'm saying. I got to be careful on these rocks here. 1,500 meters. What do we got right here? Low building catches your attention. It's well integrated in the landscapes. You almost didn't notice... The architecture is modern and simple. Did the mysterious occupiers leave it behind? You approach the entrance here, a snarl coming. Ooh. 
I would lose less oxygen. No, I'd lose more oxygen. Look around, stay outside. Find a barred window through which you could see in a rectangular room, surprising proportions. The structure must have been built in the mountain itself. But why go so much effort as you contemplate this? You hear another snarl. Get the herb growing in the window and quietly leave. Also, I got one of those sanity herb things. Sanity. No, I can't. Whatevs. It gives me see. I got tons of sanity. So sane. I just blew my mind. <laughs> That's uh, from Seinfeld. Okay. Confirm, right? Alright, so now, I guess we go in here, right? Away we go. You descend into a cave and breathe deeply. The air down here is warmer, moister, and richer in oxygen. You must feel as if it's befuddling you. Your limbs grow heavy, but your mind remains alert. You relax and regain. Uh, uh, do I need oxygen or energy? I don't remember what I have on me to eat. I've got O2 and I got a can of something. Which do I need more? I'm going to say oxygen because I'm going to be going to sleep soon anyway. Or before tomorrow at least. Okay, now here I am on this part of the rock. And do I want to cross? See, now if I were to go here... Pretty treacherous. If I go here, pretty treacherous, but it's okay. If I go here, go across the ice thing. And now there's the summit. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, yeah, if I make the approach this way, I'll be good, right? Because otherwise I would have to be going that way. Now, uh, now I could go up here. And then go over. But I don't want to spend too much effort. You know what I'm saying? On, on doing these things. Although this, this shines brightly, doesn't it? It seems to suggest. <clears throat> it's kind of important. One, two, three, four of those things, huh? And this is three. I'm going for that one, I think. Uh-oh. You're tempted to jump over a pile of debris. You slip and catch your foot in a crack between the rocks. Your ankle's in agony. Clear away the rubble. Laboriously clear the rubble by the rock. You don't want to take any risks. Just in case your ankle is sprained, it takes a while. But eventually the crack is wide enough for you to gingerly pull your foot free. You check it. Just a graze. Man, I gotta be careful up here. Okay, I got through that one. <coughs> Pardon me. Hold on a second. This is quite a sheer cliff face here. We're going to get up to 7,000 meters here. Pretty, almost like 21,000 feet. Wow. We are up, up, and away. While well, staring at the starry sky, you notice there, a shooting star, you make a wish for I have sanity energy now I feel like I should go here shouldn't I or is that taking me out of my way the summit is right there I feel like I could go up over let's see what if I were to go for this thing right here As we go down. Oh, I can't. And heck, if I go straight for the summit. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't do that. If I do this thing right here. I can go down there. 
It'll be night. I'm going to have to cross that thing twice. Do I need to cross that twice? Can't go to this one? Hmm, I think what I'm going to end up doing, going back over here. I think, do I want to, I need to get some sleep. But it's storming tomorrow, so I kind of do want to press on, don't I? I'm going to press on and see what happens. Run almost out of energy. I got to go through some pretty tough terrain here. Crampons on the ice. Running low on energy. No drift, danger, unpredictable things can happen. It's like rolling a dice, sort of. Now I gotta climb a sheer cliff face. Doing okay for oxygen. I'm low on energy. I'm cold. Look at this cliff face. I'm going to sleep out the storm. I didn't even see that. Wait a second. Wait a second. That's there. And there's a cave down there. Maybe I go to the cave. For sleep? I don't need to, though. I've got a tent. I'm going to keep going. Seven thousand meters. Discover some wild berries in a bush. They're bright in color orange almost. If you hesitate, they could be poisonous. You had a little sustenance would do you a world of good. I'm going to try one. Various takes exotic and re-energize you. Just about to reach into the brush for more when you stop. Someone tells you you've had enough. Ooh. I got some more energy. I'm cold. I'm going to use my tea. That's some hot tea there. Well, that's kind of nice, right? It's kind of nice. <laughs> I guess I don't need to sleep yet because I'm going to sleep through the storm. Is what I want. I can't get to the... I cannot get to the... Summit? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. We're going to find out. Let me finish this thing here, but I got some tough areas I got to go through. <clears throat> Something could happen to me <clears throat> really high up here. I'm climbing sheer rock face. 21,000 feet. Wait. Hold on. I got to check this thing out, right? edge of a cliff here. 
Look at where I'm at. Oh, there's a whole back way up here. In a rocky hollow, the well protect uh, well protected from the wind and weather, you discover a tent. What remains of one? There are slashes in the tarp. Someone would cut the tent with a sharp blade. Gathered outside the tent are items or clothing and provisions, but no sign of the owner. Why did they leave in such a hurry? I thoroughly investigate. I searched through provisions. I could. I got to thoroughly investigate, right? A sleeping bag. You find a thick book bound in leather. You engross yourself, reading the handwritten entries. And learn about a zoologist who spent most of her life searching for an undiscovered species of the genus Homo. There's also a sketch of a astute human-like creature. Almost 10 feet in height, it reminds you of a legendary yeti. I just gained experience there. I think we're close on the thing, but I think I have to do with the tent here. I think we have to sleep at the storm. Right? Yes, I'm gonna use the tent. Uh, I'm gonna sleep long. Fifty percent energy cost on all terrain. Fifty percent cost, time cost on all. But do I, I mean, the thing is, do I go to the summit and the storm here? I think what I end up doing is I, I go, like I click on that, but then I stop. Right? I mean, I'm going to be fine like it is here, but I can... I'm gonna use my. Do I have to get back down? Might as well use that. Still can't put that anywhere. If I use my last can of food. I'll I'll just do. Okay. I mean, I'm climbing a mountain in a storm. This thing's going to be 24,000 feet. Near the summit. Ooh. While moving through a rough stony terrain, you step a treacherous piece of rock, twisting your ankle. So, I've got... What does this mean? Rubble. Guess I gotta continue anyway. Almost, I think I'm gonna sleep up here. Well, I guess I keep going, right? Because I'm going to the summit right here. Why would I stop at this point? What happens? Your heart feels light and full of joy as you stand on the summit. The hardship of the climb already forgotten. You savor the moment. It's yours and yours alone. Did it. What an adventure. What a view. Off in the distance, you could see more mountains. Higher even than the one you're standing on. And what's that? It stands atop one of them. Long and thin. In the distance, it looks like an antenna, but that can't be right. Or can it? You want to take a closer look. You aren't done exploring yet. But first, you have to get out of the death zone. Find a safe place to take a break. Because it's there. Completed. Oh, so so you so it's not done to this point. Okay, euphoria, energy cost in the death zone, body temperature, cold breathing. I think I 
I think I'm gonna go with you. Well, I think I'm gonna go with temperature. Okay. Okay, so this doesn't, so it doesn't end on the summit. Essentially, we got to get down now, and uh, we're in the middle of a storm at night. And it's gonna be storming again tomorrow. The storm lasts days. All right? How the heck do I get off this summit at night? Is that a cave. I can't even see to see what that is. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop and camp. Right? I'm going to sleep long. Still can't see around me yet. I'm not sure which way to go down. I thought I would sleep till the day. Let's see if I zoom out again. I thought I was going to sleep to the day. This way, I don't see a whole lot of things going this way. So I think I, think I might come down this side, right? No, I can't. All right, let's do this one. We're coming down the other side. Running out of energy. I want to see what's in my backpack. The footprints in the snow in front of you, they're almost been swept away by the wind. They're clearly human and very large, like those of a giant. And it would appear that the giant is wandering around barefoot. You follow the tracks, follow the tracks to a crevasse where they end. At the bottom of the crevasse, you can make out a scrap of cloth. Did someone fall down there? You jump across and pick up the trail to the other side. Three hours and 34 minutes. I'll take the time. The grass isn't very deep. You climb down effortlessly. It's not a giant that you find, but a woman's corpse. You move closer and look in the dark. Empty eye sockets. What happened to her eyeballs? Could animals have eaten them? Search for torn anorak and find an identity card from a research institute for zoology. Some equipment. Oh, it's that lady. Insulated boots. There we go. I still have food, so I'm okay. That's what I was wondering. Now I can at least see around me here, and I think this is the proper way. Is it? I gotta end up down there. Steep, but. You enter a cave, it's dry and sheltered from the wind. At the rear of the cave, you notice a faint shimmer of light. Follow the light. You follow the light. As you approach, you realize it's coming from hundreds of fireflies. Fascinating. I lay down and sleep. Right? I'm going to sleep long. All right, we're doing all right, folks. We're doing all right. <clears throat> we're going to get where we got to go. We're going to have to climb through the night again. Gone it. Dog gone it. We go there? We go there. What is that? It's shining. I think we do it. <coughs> I think we move, people. And if it looks like we're gonna be on ice, I'll throw my crampons on. Um
right? Because we don't can still go from here over back. Yeah, I see. I thought when you made the summit, that was the end of the game, but uh, I've learned that's not true. What yet is true is that we're hiking in a storm in the middle of the night. Yeah, unlike actual mountain climbing, we bring more than what you need to finish the trip. We just went for like a hike one day and decided, hey, we'll climb the mountain and we'll we'll find everything we need on the way there. <laughs> like a horrible, by ourselves too. We probably didn't tell anybody where we went either. And we just left home one day and if we go missing, well, what's this? You discover a tree. You don't know how it could survive at this altitude, but the sight of it can comfort you. Yeah, 6,688 meters. I climbed all that way for a tree. Oh, I could level up people's. I'm going to want something about energy, right? Conserve strength. Uh, I'm going to do this one. There you go. All right, what are our options? We want to climb down to these things. We don't need to be going this way. We want to go this way. Go here. Or here. Is that it? I think that's it. All right. Climate. I know this is very close. We could have gone that way, but we could do that. We could keep doing that, you know? This is kind of tough ground I'm on. This is okay here. We're fine. Fine. We're still, once we get under 6,000, then we're out of the death zone. The next time we level up, you encounter a slope filled with rubble. Even your first step on it sets up a mini landslide. With stones rolling out from under your feet and down the mountainside. And find a different path. You decide a detour is your best option. Give the rubble a wide berth. All right. I think we did the right thing there. We had the time and the oxygen. Oxygenation. We're not climbing on any ice, so we don't need the crampons. We got the warm boots, keep us warm. I think we I think we've set this up pretty well. We're doing all right here, people. We're gonna find something over there. There's ice. Okay, you trip and bang your knee. Cursing a storm, you kicked the rock you tripped over, revealing a crack in the ground. It seems as though someone has used the crack to hide their possessions. I examine the crack. You reach in the crack, you graze something with your fingertips. It feels like a thin book of some frozen earth has not been kind to it. It's given the handwritten notes. They were penned by another mountaineer over 50 years ago, long before the island's existence became public knowledge. And there's more. Someone has started a stash provisions there. Hey, about a can of soup. Well, you know I'm taking. You know I am. You know I am because I told you I am. Hey. I think we can actually eat one of these. Yummy. <laughs> I want to start looking for caves. Sleep because oh, I am out. I'm not in the middle of nowhere here. How the heck do I get to where I need to go? I don't even know where I am. So this is going to be a place for me. Okay, I got to get down there. It's going to be a better spot to see. But before I set off, 
I need to put my crampons on. So we're going to take this off, put it there. There we are. <laughs> That's going to help us on the snow and ice. It's cold out, and then it's stormy the next day. Just awful weather we're having. But luckily, I wore a parka. <laughs> we, we, uh, we dressed warm. You sit down on a rock to relax. A pleasant warmth slowly fills your body. You touch the stone with your hand. It's warm. It's warm the ice and snow around. It's melted. Why did you notice that before you close your eyes again and regain warmth? Feel good. Strong like a Russian bear. Okay, what's the best way forward? Down this wall of ice and into that cavern? I go that way. There's like three things along there. If I go here, that's me going back around. If I go here, I gotta go that way. If I go here, gotta, well, I'm gonna go here, I think. <clears throat> so I'm gonna do this. <clears throat> I'm going to be proactive here, folks. I'm going to put the boots on and hike until I get to snow. And I think I get to this thing. When I get there, I'm automatically going to do this thing, right? You find a backpack concealed under a thin layer of snow. Bootprints lead away from the spot and a zigzag pattern disappear behind a crack. Let's search the backpack. First thing you pull out of the backpack is an empty brandy bottle followed by a vacuum flask full of tea and a torch. Something stops you from stuffing everything in your own pack. The stranger's alive somewhere. They probably need this provision as badly you do. Take one of the two things. Torch? Why do I need a torch? I'm gonna go with the torch. Because I don't even know what it would be used for. Don't even know. Wah, wah, wah. I don't even remember I don't remember how to get where I was going because I don't have that. I'm gonna go here. A walk. Stop. Crampons on. I'm through the snoo. Through the snoo. Go here. Or I think I'm going to go this way. Then there. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Then. No. Then. Well, it's just too far to call on this one. So I'm just going to go 
right now. Climbing down the rock face. Base of the rock. Oh. Frozen Mountain Lake stretches out in front of you. You place one foot on the ice and test it. It seems true to you. Your path would lead straight across the lake if you don't want to lose any time. I turn around, take a detour. You don't trust the layer of ice, and you're not the least bit interested in taking an ice bath. You'd rather take a detour. Gonna need to sleep tomorrow. All right now. All right, you discover the remains of a mountaineer. Oh, his skin is gray and cold. Thoroughly, thoroughly search the corpse. All right, take a cursory look. Thoroughly search. Find a vast vacuum flask filled with tea. Oh, yeah. Well worth effort. While I'm at it, I can go ahead. I guess my health is okay. I don't need to do that yet. So we ride. Climbing along on the ice. That I got these crampons. Giving me crampon. Careful on this. Get it. Yee! You enter a cave. It's dry and sheltered from the wind. Lie down and I go to sleep. Long babies. At least tomorrow it's going to be nice. Okay. Alright, where are you, lady? Where the heck are you going? I think that's the way for me to go. So I'm going to go. That's how we're going to play it. Coming down the rock face, across the ice. And there's going to be a lot more ice here. This way now. We left the death zone. Oxygen is no longer an issue. That's kind of nice. You know what I mean? So we no longer have to worry about oxygen. Could have taken that oxygen a while back. Maybe it does some other has some other properties for me. I'm down here, and then once I do, I'm gonna get my boots on. Switch this in here. There we go. And continue walking. It's actually my feet are warming up. The green shows you where you're going to be. Now I got to put the crampons back on. It's pretty simple. You just go like that and away you go. Oops. Bob's your uncle. Bertha's your aunt. Careful on that stuff. Put your boots back on. Good. 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 Transport kits. 
You see the outline of a large rectangular object concealed underneath an old parachute. You gingerly lift the stained, tattered fabric to find a metal case. Maybe it was used to transport goods. I searched the case. You're in luck. The case contains provisions. An extra tent. Oh. Uh, that takes up force. All right. So let's do this then. Let's use this. We'll go there. We'll go there. I could use this for body temperature. Just to warm up. Well, no, let's go here. Like this and this. I could have put the torch. I could put the torch in my hand, right? Okay, whatever. I'll take the tent and put it right there. <clears throat> okay, now I gotta get I gotta put the sh the I got no, I gotta put the crampons back on. I gotta go here. You have to keep cautiously, a short way ahead the ground disappears or why default in the earth is pretty stretching out from one to the other. I want to explore the fault. Put down and make out something lying in the bottom of the fault. From this distance, it looks like it might be a backpack or bag. Could there be valuable equipment in there? Why use the torch? Shine your light in the fault. There it is, an old backpack. Carefully, you start climbing down. In no time at all, you beat at the solid ground at the bottom. You search through the backpack and find provisions. So you pack away quickly. Your climb. Climb back up, satisfied. Bandage. Well, that's good. Now I can I can bandage myself up. You kidding me? Are you? Need one. So I lie down. I fall asleep. I'm gonna go long because I need the energy. Unless it's storming out anyway. All right, I got all sorts of energy back. I'm scrolling out. I can't see anything. Uh, so to get here, what's this? That won't take me long. Yep. Do I have my crampons on? I believe I do. I want to put them on again on the ice. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm less likely to fall and hurt myself on ice if I'm wearing those. But when I'm on just regular rock, uh, it makes sense to have the boots on because then you warm up. You're like, oh no, here, okay. I want to be careful on this because this is kind of dangerous and I have my crampons, so we'll see what happens. See, I got through it without a problem. Let's see what happens here. Spot a deer stand between two skeletal trees just ahead of you. As you consider walking over the deer over to the deer stand to search a provision so you hear a rumbling. It sounds like an avalanche. You see the snow cloud on the horizon. It's heading straight for you. I want to search the deer stand, right? You rush to the deer stand. The rumbling of the avalanche crescends crescendos to a deafening volume. The second you reach your destination, the avalanche slams into you and carries you off. When you finally manage to dig yourself free from the mass of snow, your whole body is shaking. The cold is unbearable. Can't stay here. Oh, no. Well, let's... Should we use my last hot tea? Okay, well, we're back to better there, aren't we? All right, now. That's where we got to get to. Let's just let's just make our way, right? Let's just do it. Uh Oh no. Long button. Okay. 
I got my crampons on because I'm going across no and ice. I don't have to worry about oxygen because we're all the way down. Clock, clock. You climb your way across the sheer way up a sheer wall of ice. Suddenly, you feel a frigid draft. A split second later, you hear the crash of impact. Throw your head back and you see them looking above. Enormous columns of ice growing along the cliff face. One of them just hurtled down into the depths. Turn around, take a deep breath. Columns of ice don't exactly look stable, but if a chunk came loose and knocked you down to the depths, you'd rather climb back. Alright, I got through that tough area. Because I got my crampons on. I'm gonna stop here and have some lunch. Or some. I guess stop to the next one. Eat something. Stay here. Uh, let's eat my can of food. Right? Because we have. We finally have good weather. I had some food and away I go. And up I go. 46 minutes in now. You can see my footprints. That's kind of cool. And here I come. A steep cliff rises in front of you. You can find a place to rest here. A narrow canyon runs down the middle of the crag and turns, then turns off to the side. And your heart starts racing. A steel door is blocking it. You approach the door, heading... Intending to examine it, suddenly you hear grinding and squeaking. Shocked, you take a steep back as the, step back as the door slowly opens. Glaring light pours out, and you hear the shrill sound of a siren. As if in a trance, you walk toward the light, carefully placing one foot in front of the other. The world begins to swirl around you faster, faster. You feel dizzy. The siren is higher now, louder. You stumble, try to grab onto something, anything. There's nothing there. Then you fall, fall, fall forever. Success, the beginning. Wild mountain peaks tower in the heavens for many years. The island was cut off from the outside world, but now the time's come to explore the mountain range. Like so success of the beginning. So presumably that means there's more ahead. I thought I was done with this game. We'll see what happens next. Oh, so that is like to be... Your eyes snap open. Where are you? What happened? You try to remember. There was the gate you walked through. Confused? This is a stranger. Don't worry, that's normal. If you're fully conscious when you go through the time loop, it must have something to do with the radiation. What? 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 The loop? Radiation? What is this person talking about? Who is she? Would you be hallucinating? You spot the glowing green amulet lying on the table in front of you. You're sure you've seen that stone before. Suddenly it all comes flooding back. A silent young woman who rescued you when you nearly fell into a fissure. Why didn't she tell you all this earlier? Would you have believed me? Not at all, right? And I needed you to come with me. It was important for you to see it with your own eyes and actually experience it yourself. I know how insane this all seems, so first things first. We're in a time loop. We're stuck on this island, but I have an idea of how we might be able to escape. I just need to perform some calculations. According to my calculations, I've already thought a way, a way you can help. As soon as you feel recovered, you should go out and try and find some information for me. Getting out there will also help you improve your skills and become more experienced. Take my amulet. Not only is it your only, our only hope of reversing the time loop, it will also transport you back to the station. It's reset. First thing to do is explore the area and familiarize yourself with the stone's power. I know I'm asking quite a lot, but there's no other way. You'll have to try. Oh, so, all right. So now that was just the beginning. So let's see. Char this is an exclamation. Characters can be upgraded. I got my adventure. Ew. Mashing. 
So not yet, not yet. So I can unlock these things. Increased body temperature. No, so I can get it. What's the difference between things that lit up and stuff? I'm the adventurer, presumably, right? But I can do any of this stuff. Increased energy, 15 energy cost upgrade, 100 points. What do I have? Oh, okay. Oh, there's three different types of points. <laughs> the red, blue, and, and yellow. And anyone can get these ones. Ag that costs 200 upgrade points adventure. Sprint. Okay, XP night I'll gain more experience in events during the night. Uh let's see, reduced 35% time cost on terrain. There's a body. Cooldown. Uh active skill master climber. Duration three hours, cooldown twenty-four. Use body temperature plus the amount of max bottom body temperature. I think the thing I keep losing is energy, right? Or do I go with the master? I don't even know. I guess I'm going to go with increased energy one. Yes. And maybe increased body temperature as well. Now I've got no points. Now do I get 200 of the yellow ones, right? Oh, I can't do these now. Yeah, I got nothing. Okay. Okay, so I'll just say confirm. All right, and now the inventory. Oh, so I could bring all this stuff with me. A flashlight. Can't bring the hiking stick. What's the exclamation point. <coughs> I don't know. <coughs> I want to bring. At least ten capacity pick or pack or equip this item. Oh, because this takes so much. Hmm. I can't bring a tent. Guess I don't need the climbing it. Huh? A rope. What do I have? 25 capacity. <coughs> well, I guess instead of doing that, I'll bring the rope. Or will I? I don't know if I'm going to need oxygen or not. There we go, okay. Now equipment, I can't wear any equipment or do anything. Nothing I can put on me, huh? Okay, I guess confirm. This is interesting, okay, proficiency. Oh, I just showed me this. Team upgrades, oh, okay. Terrain knowledge, any of that stuff, okay. I can't do anything over here. Missions. Oh my gosh, yeah, so the beginning is the only one I've done. A mountain one. Oh my gosh. So. Oh my gosh. So there's a lot of. There's a lot more stuff to do. I thought this was just this one mountain. All right. So we'll pick this up some other time, folks. Shoot. I was going to play through this so I can get it off my machine. But there's a whole bunch of other stuff. We'll revisit this some other time. 
Hope you're liking it so far. We did this one in two episodes. Maybe we'll do this in two in this one. Thanks for watching, folks. Take care. Bye now.